so to begin with, I became a dancer to this. I was inspired by Michael Jackson and uh, his thriller moves and you know, all of that. Uh, that really got me going uh, dancing. In the street, so. My name is Demo and I'm with this crew uh, called One Motion Crew and uh, we've been breakdancing for a living and we've been dancing for 12 years at least. Well, we've been in the South Bank for the past eight years, like, you know, basking, when we're not doing shows or festivals. Basically, when we have free times, we're here. <laughs> How long have you been basking for? Personally, I've been, like, basking for... Um, three years, on and off. Do you get trouble dancing here? Or they don't um, before, it was bit better but now because it's getting busier you know the, the South Bank is getting more popular and now it's like a lot of rules are coming up and like uh, you have to audition for the spots uh, yeah you have to audition for the spots you have to queue and then you have to share the spots you get stopped a lot I guess so uh, yeah with the police the council yeah, sometimes they even take our, our speakers and they never give it back so it's quite hard so you can't just rock up and set up like you have No, haven't. before you can. Mm -mm. Now you can't. Do you have to pay for the pitch? Uh, you have to buy uh, public liability insurance. Yeah, so in case you hurt somebody from the crowd. So everything is put on the jet. From there, I started going to a, um, to a ballet and contemporary school just to learn how flexibility was different styles of dancing. From there, I guess I, I started getting names for myself in theatres and I performed in the Royal uh, Majesty's Royal Theatre. And, uh, and from there, I decided to stop because it was too, for me it was too fake. It, was, it wasn't me. Uh, everything that I, I was taught was more like routine instead of technique. So nothing came from me, it was all self-taught, I mean, taught from someone else. So I decided to stop and uh, go to a place called uh, Pineapple Studio where I could personally learn my own technique so that when music could come on, I could uh, personally uh, show my own moves to it and uh, potentially give my own style. And uh, from there, I guess that's where busking came from. I mean, to, to increase a bit more like, courage, I started busking with some friends, started growing from there, got bigger, got a bit of money, and I guess now every week we start busking in uh, central London. So, living a life. Have you always danced here, or you've kind of moved around? South Bank's been the main place. No, but uh, uh, busking wise, we've always been here. Like, we're like the, the first breakdance group to mm -hmm. do street shows in London. And now it's getting like so common that you have people dancing in uh, Piccadilly Circus, Leicester yeah. Square, Trafalgar Square. But we just keep it real, we just here because that's where we do our thing, you know? Yeah, you're known for this spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, personally, I get stereotyped a lot because I'm a black boy. And, um, and we bust, well, we forge trouble, but I don't think that's true. Busking helps us like, keep away from trouble, in, 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 a, in a way. We don't like um, spend our time wandering the streets doing nothing and like, eventually doing something bad. So I guess busking is a way for us to, to express ourselves but in a positive way without causing any trouble. Um, well, we were just... I, I met these boys when I was out clubbing. And then I see these guys that's doing handstands and spinning on their hands. I got fascinated and I said, I want to do that, you know? And I went to my first break dancing class in Pineapple Studios. That was a long time ago as well. And then just, just started since then. Is busking for you more um, the money or just dancing so you can express yourself? Uh, for me, it's definitely just to express myself. I'm not, I'm not in it for the money. One class, just one class. No, you're only ever attending one. One class, and then you met other people, and then you go to like other training spots, and you, know, you you met a lot of dancers, and then you exchange moves. And back then, YouTube weren't even out. 
So you can't ever like go on YouTube and go how to do this, how to do that. And people weren't sharing moves. So you actually have to be able to do it by yourself. Yeah, it's not easy, it's not easy. A lot of stereotyping. So, yeah. You get called names sometimes. But, I mean, haters gonna hate. You know, so it was really hard when we started back then. But now it's easy because, you know, you have everything on YouTube. You yeah, just see a yeah, move, and then I, I want to learn that move. It wasn't like that back then. <laughs> it was it was difficult. It was really difficult. How much would you say, like, on the day of busking, would you earn? On a really good day of busking for three hours straight, I'd say you get, like, 50 to 80 pounds, depending on the mood of people, you know? If it's nice outside, like generosity and everything, yeah. But, yeah. but on bad days, I guess you could get pennies, you know. Do you do anything else? You work or study? Oh, we are uh, basically full time dancers, full time dancers. Like I said, when we're not here, we, we do festivals, you know. We go to Glastonbury, go oh, to festival, go to like any, any festivals that they, they book us. We were touring with the comedy stores for like four or five years doing shows around Europe as well. And a couple of the, the boys there that dancing, they, they do magic, they, they, they're actors, singers. Like I said, when we're not doing anything else, we're here. We've got a big group, like 10 of us, but today it's only four of us that is dancing because some, some of them are doing workshops and busy doing something else. So yeah, like we chose Central London because um, it's where the life is at. Everyone's here, everyone's nice, well, most of them, and uh, everyone wants to have a good time. It's, it's like the tourist attraction of England. So. What area are you from? Are you from? Um, a couple of us are based in South London, and some of them are based in like West London, North London. So we just generally met up here. It's the easiest place to be. Yeah, it's essential. Right? Yes, yeah, essential. Yeah, so to meet up. But when we're out training, you just go to the clubs, you just dance, you just dance. <laughs> Say, excuse me, excuse me. You're gonna get kicked. Get out of the way. And I've seen it. I've seen people get kicked. You know, because they don't listen. They get kicked. You know. Yeah. Um, the difference between contemporary and um, street dance is very different. Why? transition, why can't you be a busker with a contemporary dancer? Firstly because I've done contemporary because I wanted to try out a new style. I saw everyone doing pop, hip hop, locking, all of that, so I wanted to differentiate from the others. And uh, I guess it just wasn't really me. Like, there was something missing. I really like that, that upbeat tempo, you know. I guess you don't really get that in ballet or contemporary. Do you feel that it's profitable? Is it starting to become profitable? I mean, I mean, dancing-wise, it's a hobby. In the beginning, it was a hobby. It wasn't like the money or the fame. It was just a hobby, you know. You, you love doing what you do. But and then when you got good, you got, oh, it's getting commercialized, you know, you start making some money. You start realizing. Yeah, go to casting, be in like music videos and stuff like that. But then, you get to a point where you think that it's too cheesy, so you just don't want to do it. You just don't want to do it, you know. They want you to dress the way they want you to dress, yeah. you know. Sit in a room all day just to shoot a three-minute three minute video, so it's like, it's tiring. Is it worth it? It is worth it, because you're only dancing for three minutes, but it's the it's the 12 hours sitting in a room doing nothing. Yeah. That, that kills you. Yeah. So, when I was being brought up, it, was, uh, it wasn't that easy. I ran into quite a few conflicts, so my way out of this was dancing. That's also how it started. And I wanted the people to recommend me for something else, something positive. And what sort of work have you done previously? Previously? Uh, we, uh, like back in the days, we used to dance with um, big bros when they were like doing a couple of tracks, you know. Uh, a couple of the boys have done videos with Miss Dynamite and uh, a lot of small artists that is up and coming.